Hey everyone, let's go ahead and get started with your first MCP with Anthropic Cloud. A. We will be using here Playwright MCP from the Microsoft. This Playwright MCP is used for the web testing as a web testing tool. This can be used as a standalone web testing tool with the AI. Apart from that, there is another tool which is a Selenium. But Selenium needs a lot of coding experience. But in case of Playwright MCP, if you know a little bit knowledge of AI, you can work with this. So let me first take you through MCP. Why MCP is now very popular. Earlier when we used to call the tools from the LLM, we used to write our own code to call these services through the API. Since MCP, what happened here in between these MCP comes in between and you write only one code here and now your LM interact with this MCP server and thereafter it is MCP server's responsibility to connect with these services. Nowadays what happened here MCP server is provided by these companies itself so basically you do not need to write any kind of MCP here. You can directly call these tools as a MCP server and your LLM can interact with these. One of those tools is Microsoft's Playwright MCP. This Playwright MCP is a web testing tool. Original, original Playwright is here. So it was used to create the test suite here. It can run on any kind of web browser like Chromium, WebKit, Firefox. All right. It can run on the Windows, Linux, etc. This is the original Playwright but we'll be using here Playwright MCP. So before getting started with the Playwright MCP, you have to also make sure that you have a Cloudy Desktop installed on your computer. So you can search here Cloudy Desktop. So this Cloudy Desktop need to be on your computer. Download it and then install it. Once installation is finished, then what you need to do, you have to come here, Playwright MCP. Then inside this Playwright MCP, you have to install here a Node.js on your computer. Because it says that it needs here Node.js 18 or newer. Thereafter, it needs any of these services. We are going to use here Cloudy Desktop. But before that, you have to download here Node.js right there. Node.js. Then you will come here Node.js. Then you click on Get Node.js. We are going to get it for a Windows. I click on a Windows. Seems like it is not from there. Here, I need to get it from here. Windows Installer MSI click on here then it is going to install this node.js for my computer here all right it will take a while to install automatically install the necessary tools and then just click on this install it is going to install in meantime while it is installing let's go ahead and come back to this github repository again in the github repo you see there after the installation of the node.js we have to copy this server configuration this is mcp server configuration so the first of all, the first key starts with the MCP server. Thereafter, you have the list of the MCP server. You can have more than one MCP server with the cloudy desktop or any of these, any of these clients here. All right. Seems like this installation is done. Once installation is done here. Okay. Continue. Finally, I think it is going to finish. It's still doing here some processing. Okay. While it is installing. Cool. So it says that here the python is not installed it is installing all these things are getting done here behind the scene let it do here all right now what you need to do here you see all the installation is almost finished visual studio c plus plus compiler is also getting installed in meantime what you can do you can copy this whole thing from here thereafter we we have to update our cloudy desktop here cloudy desktops mcp configuration file so you need to open your cloudy desktop here thereafter you need to click here control and comma basically with the control and the comma you can get here the setting inside the setting you need to come here developer and then click on the edit config once you click on edit config you would be able to see your cloudy desktop config file just open this in your default browser so this is my default browser or any text textbook you can I, a, any text editor you can open this then you can just simply copy and paste the whole thing do remember this is something which will be for every i mean this is something which is only once for every server all right this is something which you will be replacing multiple time if you have a multiple mcp servers here 
let me just tell you here so this playwright is the name of your mcp server command says that it is going to use here node.js and then here these are the arguments this says that it is going to download this playwright mcp server from the node.js server let's go ahead and see if installation is done it is still being done in between some error and the warnings are coming you can safely ignore those okay so now seems like all the installation is done then type enter to exit okay so node.js is installed and our cloud server configuration is also done here i'm also going to save this once it is saved now you have to restart your cloudy desktop you need to come here and then restart this so i have to first quit it and then i can restart it from here cloud a so i start it now you can see here it has started thereafter what you have to do you need to come here and then you will notice there playwright server is here all right so this playwright mcp is actually here and it has total 24 24 tools which is available which we can use with our cloud desktop so this is ai tool now we can use it here as you scroll it down you will see all of these things here all right now what you can do you can come here and then we can see all the tools currently which we have here we have allowed origin blocked origin caps all right so the these are not the tool in fact these are the parameters which can be passed here inside the arguments basically if you notice here so inside these arguments these things can be passed here but currently we are using only a default configuration here but still it provides here all of these applications now what i do i come here at my cloud a and then i say here that how many tools you have in playwright let's say i'm just asking here how many tools you have in playwright it must give us result like 24 tools it says that 18 different play playwright tools but we have more than 18 actually all right so now what i do here i'm going to ask my ai to open a browser and then browse a website for me so what i do i write here open kgptalki.com let's say now it should open kgptalki.com here you see this kgp talkie is opened here now the side by side i can do all the browsing here this is the beauty of the ai all right so i have got here now let's go ahead and inspect what tool was used here and then what was the result so as you see here the tool was browser navigate then the request was passed here https kgptalkie.com so this was the url so it has opened here kgptalkie.com and this is the response which we have got here let me just make it a little bit larger this is the whole response which we have got here now as you scroll it down you can see all the response it downloaded from this particular website here everything you have here all right once you have that then what you can do here let's say you want to browse any blog here all right so any of these blog let's say you want to browse teacher engineering tutorial 6 here okay open feature engineering tutorial 6 so what it will do here it will come here to i'm going to always allow this now you can see the feature engineering tutorial series 6 the variable magnitude so you can browse any website using your ai ai is calling these tools via the mcp it is passing these parameters using mcp and thereafter your playwright mcp behind the scene is doing all the activity here whatever we are seeing here let's say i want to summarize this particular web page i can say here to summarize this web page now it will go and summarize this particular web page here so feature engineering tutorial 6 this is the overview these are the concept which i have covered in this feature engineering like regression coefficients variable with the large range gradient descent and the distance based algorithm and so much more here now you can see how you can use the cloudy desktop to connect with the mcp and you can control the browser here let's say you can say again visit home page there after open blog on memory let's say all right so the first of all it is going to visit the home page here 
so it will first navigate to the home page thereafter i asked here open a blog on memory let's go ahead and see if it can open the blog on memory now you can clearly see here that it has clicked the memory tag all right the memory tag link and now you can see all the blog here the, on the memory here and now it is browsing these blog here so finally it has browsed this particular blog now cache memory principles via questions viva questions answers hdram etc now you can see all of these things are opened here all right now you can see the beauty of beauty of ai how we have integrated playwright playwright test tool with our cloud ai